We have three expressions here. This is 2 thirds times 7 eighths. The second expression is 8 sevenths times 2 thirds. This third expression is 5 times 2 over 3 times 5. And what I want you to do is pause this video right now and think about which of these expressions is the largest, which, is one, which one is in the middle in terms, of, in terms of value, and which one is the smallest. And I want you to think about it without actually doing the calculation. If you could just look at them and figure out which of these is the largest, which of these is the smallest, and which of these is in the middle. So pause the video now. Now you might have taken a shot at it, and I'll give you a little bit of a hint in case you might have, in case you had trouble with it. All of these involve multiplying something by two thirds, and you see a two thirds here, you see a two thirds here, and it might not be as obvious, but you also see a two thirds here. And let me rewrite that to make it a little bit clearer. So this first expression could be rewritten as seven over eight times two thirds. This second expression here could be written as what's well, already written as eight over seven times two thirds times two thirds. And then this last expression, we could write it as in the numerator, five times two, five times two, and then in the denominator, it's over five times three. Five times three, which is of course the same thing as five over five times two thirds times two thirds. So you see all three of these expressions involve something times two thirds. Now looking at it this way, does it become easier to pick out which of these are the largest, which of these are the smallest, and which of these are someplace in between? I encourage you to pause it again if you haven't thought about it yet. So let's visualize each of these expressions by first trying to visualize two thirds. So let's say the height of what I'm drawing right now, let's say the height of this bar right over here is two thirds. So this right over here, represents two thirds. The height, the height here is two thirds, is two thirds. So first let's think about what this one on the right here represents. This is five over five times two thirds. Well what's five over five? Five over five is the same thing as one. This is literally just one times two thirds. This whole expression is the same thing as one times two thirds, or really just two thirds. So this, the height here, two thirds, this is the same thing as this thing over here. This is going to be equal to, this could also be viewed as five times two over three times five, which was this first expression right over here. Now let's think about what these would look like. So this is seven eighths times two thirds. So it's less than eight eighths times two thirds. It's less than one times two thirds. So we're gonna scale two thirds down. This is gonna be less than two thirds. It's gonna be seven eighths of two thirds. So this one right over here, this one right over here would look something like this. It would look something, let me see if I could draw it. Yeah, it would look something like, something like this. If the yellow height is two thirds, then this right over here, then this height, this height right over here, let me draw, make it clear, this height right over here would be seven eighths times two thirds. Likewise, let's look at this one right over here. Let's look at this one in the middle. Eight sevenths times two thirds. Well, eight sevenths is bigger than seven sevenths. It's more than one. This is more than two thirds. This is one and one seventh times two thirds. So it's gonna be the same height as two thirds plus another seventh. So it's gonna look something, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna look something like this. So its height, now we scaled the two thirds up because eight sevenths is greater than one. So this right over here, this height, is gonna be eight over seven times two thirds. So the way that you could have spotted which of these is the largest and which of these is the smallest, is to say, well, what, how are they scaling two thirds? This one right over here, you're essentially multiplying two thirds by one. So you're, you're, you're just gonna get two thirds. You're not scaling it up or you aren't scaling it down. This one right over here, you're scaling two thirds down. You're multiplying it by something less than one. If you multiply it by something less than one, then you're gonna be scaling it down. I should say a positive number or a number between zero and one, less than one, then you're gonna be scaling it down. So this thing is scaled down, it's gonna be the smallest. And here you're multiplying the two thirds times a number bigger than one by one and one seventh, so you're gonna scale it up. 
So this expression is the largest, 8 sevenths times 2 thirds. The smallest is 2 thirds times 7 eighths. And this one right over here is in between.